Good morning, Auto Hounders. Welcome back to another exciting day here at Auto Hound. And right now it is 5.45 in the morning here in lovely and scenic Peabody, Massachusetts. And we are about to head out on a little sunrise drive. It's not only just a sunrise drive, it is kind of the culmination to the end of the season. Um, Massachusetts, as you know, it uh, gets cold. I don't drive my car in the cold weather and snowy weather just because, you know, that's what my daily is for. My 2003 Toyota RAV4 with 190,000 miles. But this 2015 Porsche Boxster, I want to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about the car as far as my ownership experience has gone. So let's get into the good. The good, it's a Porsche. <laughs> It's a really nice car. It's a lot of fun to drive. I, I enjoy it tremendously. I, I think that when I bought this car, I didn't realize how much fun it would truly be. Going from a 2000 Porsche Boxster S to a 2015 Porsche Boxster S, I didn't think there would be that much of a market difference, and boy, is there ever. So the good part about this car, it's really fast. Um, the other good part about this car, it handles well, it's quiet, it runs great, starts right up, warms up quickly, uh, has a lot of creature comforts, has heated air conditioned seats, um, has an amazing uh, surround sound system, and has a, still a ton of trunk space like my previous car did, a ton of storage space, because remember you got a trunk and a front because it's a mid-engine car. The other thing that this car has that I love, love, love is the color. It is called Agate Gray Metallic. It's like this dark gray color. And it just makes the car look so incredibly mean and aggressive. And it kind of is. So it's a true supercar to me. Um, let's talk about some of the bad. Some of the bad about this car. Uh, my previous boxer had a nice door rest where I put my hand on the arm at the right height. This I either have to put it down low or I have to put it up way, way high. Uh, and it gets a little uncomfortable. The second thing is this car eats a little bit more oil than the previous car did. This car has gone through a liter of oil already and will need another liter of oil before I put it away for the season. So that is definitely a little bit uh, annoying, but you know, that's the ownership experience of a high revving, high performing engine. And if you have a high revving, high performance engine, yeah, you're gonna go through some oil. So that is kind of the bad for the car. I guess the other bad would also say the ride is a little stiff. It being a sports car, the ride is gonna be somewhat stiff, but the seats do make up for it because they're fairly comfortable. I have Mrs. Autohound in the car today. You're not gonna be able to hear her over the wind noise of the, the um, you know, with the top down this early in the morning, but we're gonna go see a beautiful sunrise in Rockport, Massachusetts off of Bearskin Neck. And I'm really looking forward to that. Now, let me just get out of the way of this guy behind me. But you can see this car cruises so nicely at 70 miles an hour, you would never even think of going that quick uh, on this small road. Other than that, I just, I want to thank everybody for, you know, supporting the channel and growing the channel. We've gone from, at the beginning of this year, 130 subscribers, and now we've got 279 subscribers and I want to get to a thousand and ten thousand and a hundred thousand as many as I can get but for those of you who have been with me since day one thank you for those of you who continue to join I want to thank you as well I hope you enjoyed that brief musical interlude. This is just a great day. I also want to wish my wife a happy birthday. Happy birthday, honey. You're the best. Thanks for the ride. Good morning, sunshine. 
literally. So here we are in Rockport, Massachusetts, pulling into the parking lot. This is the reason we came up this morning, right there. Can y'all see that beautiful sunrise? I'm gonna swing around here, nice and carefully. So those of you who don't live in New England, this is Rockport, one of the most scenic ports, one of the most photographed ports in the history of Massachusetts. Uh, if you come down this street right here, this is where all the shops are. It's a very nice neighborhood. It's quiet. People take their dogs for a walk first thing in the morning. Get them out before all the crowds get here. And it gets busy here. It gets really busy here. And you gotta take that right, right there, which is not a big deal. You see all these old, old streets that you have to turn down and up. No pooping. <laughs> little sign that says no pooping. And we're going to go to the most photographed fish house in America. So Mrs. Otterhound, you were just saying something that I thought was interesting. I've never seen the sun rise. Oh. The actual orb rise. So this was a first for me. So thank you. Thank you for this lovely Saturday morning. You're welcome. You know, it's kind of funny. Uh, folks, if you're watching this, you're watching my bird's eye view of everything. Because of the point of view, people look at me like I've got five heads, like it's difficult for me to see. I think I've explained it in other videos. It's really not terribly challenging to see. As long as you focus on what you're doing, you should be fine. Uh, I can see everything in front of me in the road. The camera is just in my nose sight. So everything is visible there. But look at this cute little lighthouse right here in the middle. And coming up here. Two little dogs getting in a car. They've had their morning constitution. They did. There's the boats. And turning on to the most viewed and photographed fish house in America. Straight ahead. There it is right there. That's on every postcard if you ever look at it in Massachusetts. That little tiny fish house. Love it. Well, for those of you who might not have heard or if the uh, wind was too much, uh, the good of the Boxster. Uh, it's just a great car all around. Uh, bad. Just down here or this right up here. Um, your arm can't, doesn't go like in the middle, so it is a little uncomfortable sometimes as you're driving. Um, really not a big complaint. It does use about a liter of oil every 2,000, 3,000 miles. And this has been the Auto Hound and Mrs. Auto Hound. Say bye, Mrs. Auto Hound. Bye, folks. Um, if you like this type of content, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's about the drive. And Jenny, you said, and the sunrise. And the sunrise.